This is a 100,000 bucks mansion, and it's possibly the best house to ever exist in Adopt Me. And I'm going to be comparing this house to a 50,000 bucks house, which looks amazing, a 10,000 bucks house, and a 1 buck house, which is questionable. For 1 buck, you get this. A cardboard box, a bed in your living room, a bunch more boxes, at least you get a bathroom that works, and some stuff for your pets. It's usable, it just looks ugly. So let's get an upgrade. This is the next house, and this one looks amazing. All of the colors, the design, the whole thing is mind-blowing. And this is only the second house out of four houses. So you guys won't believe what's in house number one. Let's start by touring the inside of this building. All of the interior is fully decorated and in comparison to our one bug house, this thing looks amazing. All of the houses have this awesome theme and are awesomely made. Let's go and check out the next room of this awesome build. Even just the walkways to getting into the different rooms is actually really awesome. Let's go and check out the interior of this house. It's got a giant bathtub with all of these flowers in. And then outside, there's a pathway to go into another place. And in here, kind of looks like a shrine. I don't really know what's going on here. So let me know in the comments if you know what's happening. All I can tell you is that it looks cool. We've got to go and fly around and check out some of the interiors of this building. So for this house, as it's not the most expensive house, not all of the rooms are fully decorated yet. The reason why is because this is still a work in progress. That's right, they haven't finished building this house yet. Which is why some of these areas are actually empty. But there are so many rooms, I really can't blame them. And even the empty rooms are kinda better than whatever my house has inside. But the next expensive house is fully decorated and you're going to love it. So let's go and check out the main part of this design. Inside there is this giant lift, where if you go up it, it will stop you off on this giant red panda floor. That's right, there is a giant red panda. And the reason why is to go and have the red panda design on the front of the house. This is the only way you could go and feature it on the build. But there's a separate level, so let's go and fly up to that one. On there, it takes you to another lift, which takes you to a giant lookout point from the top of the house, which actually looks insane. And it gives you a better perspective of how big this house actually is, and will help you to understand how much time was actually spent into making this house. But this isn't as much time that was spent on the next house. So let's check that out. Let's start off with the entrance of the Blue City. Welcome to the nation of Hydro. And I guess we're gonna go and drop down. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to happen. And already this looks better than any house I could build. And this is only one small section of this giant build. This thing literally looks insane. And we're gonna go and get a tour of all of these buildings. And the theme of this is France. So let's continue and head into one of the first buildings available. What I like about this is that all of these areas are actually decorated on the inside. Lots of players when they go and do their builds don't do the decoration for the interior. This play even has a working lift that would go and take you onto the second floor, which I still don't know how you go and create an Adopt Me, but you simply stand on it and it pushes you onto the second floor as if it was an actual lift. And honestly, I still don't know how someone goes and does that. We're on the second floor still right now, and there is a bunch more of these houses, so let's go and check out what is on the inside. Each house is fully decorated using the color theme of blue. All of these things literally have every single thing that a house needs. All of the builder's friends have their own house, and they all got to design it based off of what they like. So let's now head on to the next house for their next friend. And this one just looks really cool as well. All of the houses feature all of these lifts. And of course, all of these rooms are fully decorated and have lots of things that are completely usable, allowing you to age your pets up and literally have the coolest house possible. But just wait as this actually goes and gets better. So let's go and follow our little guide. That's right, I'm being guided by the magical moon who seems to be touring me through this amazing place. Now there's not enough time to go and check out the interior of every single one. But let's go- But this is a nature- This is a nature themed house and this one's really fun. And I can already imagine how many bucks this costs. I'm surprised they haven't actually reached the build limit by literally having all of these items. A build limit is where you can't go and build anymore since you've used the maximum amount of purchases. And the reason why is to go and stop lag from going and happening. So this person's house actually has two lifts. This will go and take you to floor level two. But if we go into the other lift, it will go and take us onto a higher up level, like really, really high, onto floor level three. 
This is a really fun idea, having multiple levels to your house. It even has this amazing view. Like, look how fun this is and how amazingly well built this is. This kind of gives you a bit more of a scale proportion to understand how big this city actually is is by just zooming out from the view. Honestly, this is one of the craziest builds, and at nighttime, all of this lights up and glows. And this thing literally looks amazing, like in every single angle, and we've only checked out a fraction of it. Which is why we're gonna go and continue and check out more, as this thing is literally insane. I have never seen something so fun in Adopt Me. There's even their own shop. I mean, I wouldn't pay these prices, but there's a shop. And it features all of these different types of petwares, different clothes, or even a vehicle for 12,000 bucks or 45,000 bucks. I personally will not be spending that many bucks, but I mean, maybe it's worth it to someone. Up next is the Justice Building. Now, if you don't know what the Justice Building is, then you're in for a treat. This building might look slightly familiar to a bunch of players. Now, why in the world is this familiar to all of you? Well, the design is similarly based off of the Trading Hub. And this is the location where they get to go and judge scammers. If someone has scammed somebody and adopt me, they are sent to this location. And this is actually really fun, so let's check this out. There's a prison cell there, and if we are to go and head up onto level 2 using the lift, obviously, we can then go and see the area where the defendant will stand, where the judges will be located, and even an attorney to figure out if someone is a scammer or not. Now this is a really fun thing and I feel like it would be amazing for role playing. plus if you do find a scammer, imagine bringing them here, it would be so funny to see their reaction to this. Like honestly this would just be so amazing, just somehow tricking a scammer to come to this location. So if you want to see a video where I try and trick scammers into coming here, and then we all rank them based off of what scams they've done, then let me know in the comments. We've got one more last thing in the blue castle, so let's go and head there and find out what is the best thing from this place. Now there are so many things that this player has built, but we're gonna go and check out the observation deck. That is a location where we should be able to go and get the best view of this whole location. To go and get into it, of course, we've gotta take a lift. I've gotta figure out how you make this lift, but look how cool this is. This is the longest lift I think I've ever seen. It just keeps going and going and going and going and I don't know how they made that, but it's fun and I want it. So right at the top, we've got all of these like particle effects as if there's a giant disco ball. That probably is exactly what that is. And then we have this awesome view. This is literally an amazing view where we can go and see everything. So I think we should all give a round of applause to this builder for how much bucks and time that they have spent into making this city. As honestly, I have never seen a city like this before inside of Adopt Me, and it's one of the most fun designs that I have ever seen in the game. But it's only going to get better when we check out the most expensive house in Adopt Me. This is the first room of many. There are so many rooms featuring a tasty avocado and an awesomely decorated kitchen. All of these things are of course decorated. All of these rooms also look amazing. I've never seen architecture or builds in Adopt Me that are in this style. And by the way, this is all freehand built. Like there's no way to use templates to build any of this. Even just walking from one location to the other, it's fully decorated and has a specialist theme. Featuring all of these custom pathways and in here is a pretty cool room featuring a giant pet there is this awesome big bird cage with a big bird in the middle of the cage apparently this is inspired from a different video game but that alone is already awesome this has to go in by night which we'll definitely be going and doing once it's nighttime so watch until the end to find out what's in there but let's go and check out the interior of this this looks like it would be a great place to go and age your pets up. It's fully furnished, has some pet growth areas, and also features a giant bedroom and hot tub in case your pet needs cleaning. I've never seen something so nicely decorated and this is just one of the many rooms. So it's time to go and do a little bit of exploring walking around myself. There's this room right here and as we can see there is a big arrow on it which can mean only one thing. That there is, of course, a giant elevator 
Taking you to the surface. I just absolutely love these elevators. It just brings a whole new level of going and traveling in Adopt Me. It's still very confusing how this well and truly works. But let me just show you how insane this build actually is. Like, that's me. And this is how big the build is. Like, it's going to be a, a puzzle and a maze trying to figure out where I have been. And where I have not been, based on how large this is, plus absolutely how amazing is this with all of these awesome lights, all of these awesome colors at nighttime. This whole place just looks crazy. It definitely gives a whole new vibe to Adopt Me, like Adopt Me, you wouldn't normally think of this. I'm gonna have to go and grab my grappling hook as honestly, I would be here all day just trying to walk around as this thing is absolutely massive. Using the grappling hook still actually takes a lot of time. This looks like something you'd find in Disneyland, a bunch of planes attached to a carousel. We've got some fun little activities for players to go and do while they're exploring their house. And these things even move. I don't even know how they did that. All right, I found some more rooms and this is the first time that I have seen some unfinished rooms. So I think this player did say that they're still going and working on this project. Obviously, working on something like this costs you literal hundreds of thousands of Adopt Me bucks, which are obviously not something easy to come across based on how long it takes to get bucks. It's just no simple way of going around and getting it unless you want to go and spend your Robux on it, but you're better off just going and earning it. So all of these small little details just go and make this place absolutely amazing. And I really do wonder what they're going to go and fill all of these fancy rooms with once they go and finish the build. Also, they haven't met the build limit, which honestly is surprising because I have seen many players with the build limit reached and they always complain saying that they reached the build limit. Well, look how crazy this is. That hasn't reached the limit. Let's actually go and check out the inside of the tree trunk. That's right, the giant thing is a giant tree and we can go inside it. Inside is all of these crazy things. Like there's a whole house inside and this whole house is literally better than my house and theirs is inside of a tree guys this is just a regular part of their house but to mine this will literally be like the best feature so i definitely need to up my building game or i just need to hire this person to build it for me since I have absolutely zero skill after watching this. Even just this tree is decorated with things that I've never seen before in Adopt Me. I don't even know what these things are. All of this is so well decorated and planned out. You know that go in by night thing? Well, um, it's kind of not nighttime anymore and I wanted to go and check it out. So let's go and be a little bit cheeky and check it out while it's not nighttime. And oh my word, what am I looking at? What in the world is this? This is absolutely awesome like the amount of sparkles the amount of crystals the amount of glowing that is going on in this place is literally insane i don't even know how they came up with the concept of going and building this not only does this thing look awesome there's even a secret room leading out of that awesome lit up place which takes me into some type of fairy path so let's go and follow the trail and see what it leads me towards it seems to be some type of mysterious house, but what's on the inside? Nothing. I guess there's a tree stuck inside of the house, which is fair enough. I mean, it's a cool looking house, and even the tree is just fun looking, to be honest. I wonder if these are custom trees or how they actually did that, I don't really know. But what I do know is that this place is absolutely amazing and has taken so much time. And I haven't even explored all of it, honestly. Even if I spent hours on this, I probably would miss a section. But look at this. This looks like it's a Frost Fury made out of pancakes. I know it's meant to be like the Ice Totem but it looks like a pancake version. Trust me, that's just what I think. But yeah, if I was to spend hours going and exploring the whole of this house, I honestly don't think I could based on how insanely large this is. There is the builder in action, by the way, in case you want to see him. This is me using Freecam just to go and demonstrate how big of a build this is. Freecam allows influencers to go and fly around to go and check out these amazing builds. And I just realized I've completely missed a whole section. This is Alex's house, very nicely decorated. He's got some fun posters 
and it looks just like a pretty much a regular house to be honest. But there is this glowing pathway which I haven't visited yet and it has this house in it. What is this? This is amazing. This is just like so well lit, so nicely themed, amazingly decorated. Bro, I want this. I just want to copy and paste it into my house, which believe it or not, you can do if I had enough bugs to go into it. But this is just such a nice idea, like the lighting behind it, the design behind it. This is all literally amazing. I wish my house was this cool and I also wish I had that many bucks to be able to afford a house that cool. Do you want completely free Robux? Well click this video here to see 8 real ways to actually earn free Robux.